Welcome to Rehash, on the internet where all news is old news, we bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hey guys, my name is Extreme Duck, and you are watching Rehash. Thank you so much to Extreme Duck who provided our intro. If you'd like to be awesome like him, link in the description where you can provide an intro and we'll talk about you at the end of any of the episodes. We've got a lot of news to go over today, so we're going to try to make this quick today. Razer, the gaming peripheral company, recently purchased Ouya, which is an open source platform for games. Now, in doing so, Ouya actually created a little bit of bad will with some of the developers that had worked on console exclusives. Now, there's actually a little bit of good news in that Razer has decided to make all of Ouya's debts good, which it didn't have to do. So, good on you, Razer. Mojang, or Mojang, depending on how you pronounce it, just released Minecraft 1.9, the very first snapshot. Now, it's not the full 1.9, but it is the first peak that we're getting into it. So, if you're a Minecraft player, be sure to check that out. This update has a lot to do with battle mechanics. So as you would probably imagine, it has a lot to do with, like, you know, cuddly stuffed animals and whatnot. On the heels of much success on Steam's platform that allows you to stream games from PC to PC or PC to TV, Microsoft has decided that they are going to do the same thing, allow you to play your PC games using the Xbox console. It's not really clear right now what kind of titles are going to come first, However, this is something that kind of excites me, even though I'm not a dirty console peasant. Let us know in the comment section down below how you feel about this. If you want to check out the full article of this or any other stories, link in the description. The new leader of the DEA, for those of you not aware, that's Drug Enforcement Agency of the United States, has recently come out as saying that pot or marijuana is probably not as bad as, say, old heroin, which is something that we've all really kind of known for a very long time. However, it is nice to see people up on the hill you know, coming and you know, admitting it. Seriously. We talk a lot about the legalization of marijuana on this show, uh, mainly because it's constant news. Uh, this is not to detract from anyone who has any actual problems. If you have a drug problem, please seek help. The developer of Five Nights at Freddy's recently spoke out against his haters, saying that he understands people not liking the games and that he understands that it's not for everybody, but hating on successful people for just being successful is a mark of someone who's not successful themselves. Which is actually very true, I've found. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below what you think of Five Nights at Freddy's, what you think about this. If you'd like to read the full article, link in the description to the Steam post where he said this. Albuquerque, New Mexico is where a lot of things happen. Really, I'm not very familiar with what those are, however, I do know that Bugs Bunny should have taken a left there. Recently, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, a resident was told, after calling 911, to deal with it himself while he was trying to save someone's life. The dispatcher has recently been fired, and people are trying to make this whole. However, it's not apparent at this time whether or not the person who what is in need of help is going to be okay. Link to the article down below. This is a developing story, so you might actually get a newer copy of the article than I do. That actually wraps up all the stories that we're going to talk about today. We're actually going to skip the comments section today because, as you can tell, things are a little bit different than normal. Uh, and we're going to dive right into Extreme Duck's channel because he was awesome enough to provide an intro. Extreme Duck, the advice I have to give to you is you're a very soft-spoken person, which is awesome. However, I think you can use this to play a little bit more towards your strengths. Right now, you're doing a lot of Call of Duty, a, a lot of these type of gun games and, you know, shooters. And I think that that it still very much works for you with your personality and your commentary style. However, I would tell you to look at other soft-spoken people, individuals, personality-wise. I want you to see if there are any things that you can emulate from them and what makes them successful. A soft-spoken public speaker is a very, very good and effective thing, depending on the art, the audience that you're targeting and how you would like to be seen. So just, you know, look at other examples of soft-spoken people, and I think that you will see a very good amount of success in the time to come. In addition, your thumbnails are interesting. I am not necessarily a huge fan, but I like some elements that you've got. For instance, you do face cam in your videos, and your thumbnail always includes the the face cam, as well as part of your, you know, your thumbnail, text. Again, I'm not a huge fan of text, but the way you do it, I'm not totally hating on it, if that makes sense. 
It would be nice to see a little bit more relevant text in your descriptions. Other than that, I think that given a little bit of time, a little bit of exposure, which I hope we provide you here today, you'll do fine. Link in the description if you'd like to check out his channel. Be sure to spam him with hashtag rehash. Let him know that he's gotten the Freedom Family hug. And that pretty much wraps things up today. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family. You know, I'm pretty sure people are going to mention that something's missing here. The hat. There we go. Everything in order.